Hello everyone, Nevika here. Welcome to this next episode of Let's Play Judgment. So in the last episode we did a very silly side case when it comes to wigs and we became a friend with I think the Gucci was his name and we're in a competition to see who can flirt better with women. So let's keep going because he wants a round two since we won last round. So shall we? We shall. I'm on it. Let's do this. Remember, if you lose to me, you're going on a one-way trip to Tuna Land. Yeah, I know. Okay then. Say so, yeah, the criteria? Um Well, how about Yagami-san, your job is to find a girl who's still attending school. University, junior college, doesn't really matter. Huh? Wouldn't it be kind of hard to find a student around here, though? <laughs> True. Then consider it a handicap since you won last time. Ah. Psh! More like a handy crap. Ah. <laughs> you guys ready? First one back wins. Now, get out there! Okay, a schoolgirl. I feel like that one is way too easy. Let me keep going. Like, come on, it's not gonna be the girl that's right there right away, right? No? Okay, let's go the other way. I know it's not gonna be here, I know it. Let's try this way. Maybe I gotta talk to her first to, like, trigger another girl to appear. Okay, not this way either. Let's go this way then. Well, whatever, I don't see another girl, so I'm just gonna have to go with her. Maybe I do need to talk to her first so another girl appears. Or it'd be so funny if it was her, oh my god. Excuse me. Can I talk to you for a second? <laughs> sure! Were you gonna ask me out or something? Ah. Oh, she seems pretty open-minded. Let's go hang out! Let's... Excuse me. Oh, okay. I guess head out doesn't count. Actually, can we take a picture together instead? Mm? A photo? Okay, but that'll cost extra. Mm? Cost extra? What do you mean? Mm? Wait, don't tell me! You actually thought I was a schoolgirl? Yep. Even though I'm standing in the ritziest red light district in Tokyo? Ah, uh, you're working for an image club, aren't you? <laughs> yep. If I look like a real high schooler, then that means I've still got it. <laughs> Damn, what a waste of time. I figured. But no. I'm telling you, dude, do I really have to go super far? Maybe I do. Where else would I go? Let's look this way. Nope, nothing over there. Let's just keep going around then. At this point, I'm gonna lose just because I can't find her. Wait, it's not in the map, right? Nope. Schoolgirl, schoolgirl. I don't see one. Goodness gracious, there aren't any. The first one's backwind, so I'd better... Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, so I'm guessing we can't go that way either. Well, dude, where is a girl? I don't s oh, could she be one? I mean, nope. Nope. I wish they'd like put a red circle on- Ooh, okay, you. Oh no! Remchun, where did you run off to? Excuse me. Excuse me, can I talk to you for a second? What? What do you want? You seem a bit panicked. Is there something wrong? Well, yeah. 
You see, I was with my little brother, and now he's nowhere to be found. A lost child. He's about eight years old. Excuse okay, me. so I'm just supposed to find this child? I guess so. Uh, <laughs> where do I even begin? Maybe I should just ask her for a picture. Like, I'm not gonna find a little eight-year-old kid. Where am I gonna find a kid? Could literally be anywhere. Maybe I should ask her something else. Yeah, I'm gonna just ask her something else and see where that takes me. Because I don't see a child anywhere. Excuse me. Could I take a photo with you? Why would you even say that? I don't have time for that right now. Please don't bother me. Sorry about that. Excuse yep, me. it's gonna be that. Yep. Where am I? Now I have to find a kid. Where am I gonna find a kid? She's not even moving. She herself isn't even looking for the kid. Maybe in the mall here? Nope. In one of these freaking stores? Is there like a... Um, can't even go inside the mall either. No, there's no arcades or anything. Give me a clue, bitch. Can give me something. Yeah, I don't see a freaking eight-year-old anywhere. This is crazy. Can I just find another girl? Wow, at least I found a freaking pachinko ball. Wow, guys. Well, I'm gonna keep looking because this is gonna take forever. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, and we're back. And wow, that was annoying. Of course, where would he be but the Club Sega Arcade? And it's funny because I thought he'd be at this one, but it was too far. I didn't think to check this one until way freaking later. <laughs> well, I finally found them. Hello. Hey. Oh, kid. What's the matter, little guy? I can't find my big sister. That's not good. Do you know where the police station is? Well, mom always told me you're not supposed to move when you're lost. Right, that's smart. Hmm. Yep, so I'm doing a good job. He seems pretty mature for his age. Okay, so he's gonna stay put there. And we are gonna go back over here, I guess? Goodness gracious, this is annoying as all hell. Neither of them will freaking move. I don't know why the sister isn't moving. The kid, I understand, but he should have at least gone with us now. But I guess we are a stranger danger still. Oh no! Yes, Excuse yes! Me. What? What do you want? I found him! No, I think I've seen that kid. What? Really? Where? Yep. Should I just take you to him? Yes! Please! Okay, come on then, lady. Now she moves. Jesus. Man, the kid better be there. He ran away again. No, he, he wouldn't. He was taught not to. So he will be there like a good boy. Yay! Ranchan! Oh, sis! 
Yes, you came. I'm so glad I found you. You disappeared all of a sudden. I was so worried. Sorry. Thank you, sir. You really helped a lot. No problem. Is there any way I can thank you? Well, would you mind taking a picture with me? A picture? Sure, but why? The hell you think you're doing? Uh oh. Oh, Deguchi. Hmm? Deguchi san? Just what is he getting into this time? Sorry, I didn't know you guys were together. Yeah, right. You were trying to use my girl as a wallet. I know how you whole sickles think. No, that wasn't my intention at all. Bull of shit. Get ready to enter a world of hurt, motherfucker. Hmm, if I help him now, I'll almost certainly lose the contest. But if I don't, then Deguchi will lose several teeth. Oh no! Why they do this to me? Um, let me think about it. Hmm. Uh, I no, we can't. We can't just leave him like that, man. We we have to step in. That I think that's what Yagami would do. He's not selfish. Hey, you there? Yagami son. Yagami son. You want something, man? Hey. Yeah, that guy's my friend. Sorry if he caused you any trouble. Huh? You think I give a shit if you're sorry? Then what do you suggest? Let me get a few hits on this bastard. And I won't take no for an answer. Huh. Then try hitting me instead. Bet you won't land a single one. <laughs> oh, careful, Yagami. <laughs> Fine by me. Hope you've written out a last will and testament. <laughs> I hope you have, dude. You probably don't even have family to give that will to. Silly boy. No, I'm gonna use this bike over here on you because you've earned it. <laughs> As a final fuck you. Yeah. You okay? Yeah, somehow I ended up talking to the wrong girl. But, Yagami-san, that girl you were talking to earlier got scared and took off. Oh, crap. Uh, it's all my fault. I got us both disqualified. I put you in danger. Hey, it's fine. You're my client's nephew, after all. Couldn't just let you get hurt. Yagami-san, you're one badass dude. Yeah, he is. Yay! Let's just get back to Seiya. I wonder if we would have gotten that even if we ignored. So neither of you got a picture, huh? Then I guess that makes this a draw. Actually, Seiya-san, our contest does have a winner. Huh? What do you mean? It's Yagami-san. He saved me from getting beaten up. If he hadn't stopped what he was doing and helped me, I'm sure he would have won. Yagami-san, is this true? Hmm. Well, yeah, I was pretty close. Then you admit your loss, Teguchi. Think carefully, your dream of being a host is on the line here. Uh, this... It's cool. I don't want to cause you any more trouble than I already have. I owe you, man. Oh, You sure about this? Yeah! I'll go work on the tuna boat like I promised. I'm a failure as a host anyway. Wait, no one here thinks you're a failure, Deguchi. Huh? At first I thought you were just another wannabe who talked big and couldn't back it up, but now I know you really can. You... you mean that? Yeah. And I've been watching you work your magic out there, too. You ended up talking to way more girls than I expected. Well, I know I'm not the best looking guy, so I figured I'd just talk my ass off until some magic actually happened. And you kept at it, too, despite how many times you got rejected. <sighs> of course. 
Even though many of them said horribly crippling things that will scar me for years to come. <laughs> None of that really matters as long as my dream is alive. Besides, I'm sure there's at least one girl out there who can appreciate my style. Not sure where your confidence comes from, but I like that you stick to your guns. You're super enthusiastic, too. Yeah, I can see it working. I think that with a little bit of polish, you could end up being a pretty decent host. Then does that mean... Exactly. Yeah. I wouldn't mind t talking to the owner for you. What do you think, Yagami-san? Get on the tuna ball! <laughs> Imagine! <laughs> Who would say this? That's so mean! <laughs> I could never! I guess as long as you pay your debt to Taniyama-san. It's fine. <laughs> awesome! Yes! Full friend! Oh my god! Remember, your level of success in this industry is all on you. And there are times being a host is much more difficult than being on a tuna boat. Then I'll just have to give it 110%. No, 120%. Alright, I'll be holding you to that. Well, Yagami-san, guess this is it. I don't know what I would have done without you. Make sure you... Make sure you to explain your situation to your aunt and get her approval, okay? You bet I will! I'll just work my Deguchi magic and... Shabuya! She'll see it my way for sure. Okay, but do you really think it's that simple? Well... If I can persuade a strict old lady like my aunt, then talking to girls on the street should be a cinch. In theory. Maybe so. Then I hope it all works out for you. Wow, that was quite the friend event. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, we can clear that out. Still having on Yosuke! <gasps> Dude, maybe now Deguchi will be good. A good person to uh, go speak to. What's her name? I already, I already forgot her name. I think so. I think it'll work out. Come on, it's got to. Yagami-san! Let's hmm. see. Nobody! Oh my gosh! I guess Teguchi isn't good enough. Wow. That's interesting. Okay. Morio? I haven't finished this? Oh, who's that? I don't know. Who's that? Oh my gosh, there's so many friends I haven't been friends with. Let me go to this one, since we're not too far. Figured there's not enough time to do a side case, so... Let's go make a new friend. I'm really curious who it could be. I wonder if it's like another continuous NPC, like Deguchi. Uh oh. They're always picking on this man. Huh? Today is the day, old man. Time to pay them dues. Better do what Aniki tells you while he's still in a good mood. I, I understand what you want, but why don't I let you try our new dessert instead? Soto. We don't need your mashed up old bean shit. Oh, yes, we do. I love me some traditional desserts. Yeah. Ariki? <laughs> Excellent! Our special bean paste is the pride of our store. So I definitely recommend it to anyone who likes sweets. Ah, then I know just what I want. Keep it together, Ariki! Hmm? Don't tell me. These fools are harassing Takemitsu again. Yes, they are. Of course! Sucks to be him! Who's <laughs> gonna step in? Hey. Looks like you guys still haven't learned your lesson. Oh. Lesson? 
Wait. Aren't you? The guy who kicked your ass? Yep. I thought something like this might happen, so I brought five of my toughest boys along with me. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Y'all in the same, like, golf club or what? Now it's time for some sweet, sweet revenge. And after that, some actual sweets. Mmm. <laughs> Bring it on. I will have your asses and dessert. Thank you very much. Ow. <gasps> How dare you. You too. Screw your weapons. No, I'm gonna... Oh, 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 oh. Out of my face! Actually, you know what? Time to get my best item in the world! <laughs> now I'ma take your desserts, bitch. What? How is this possible? Quality over quantity, buddy. No matter how many goons you throw at me, they're still gonna end up lying on the ground. If I were you, I'd take your sweets and get lost. While well, Yagami is sweet for letting them have their sweets. I would have kept them for myself. Well, okay. <laughs> Maybe I will. <laughs> You forgot your sweets! Ooh, you really did a number on those fellas. Again. <laughs> Just doing my thing. Might I have your name so I can thank you properly? This is Yagami. Sure. I'm Takayuki Yagami. I appreciate your intervention, Yagami-san. I'm sorry it's not much, but please take this. It's one of our newest confections. <gasps> Takemitsu Yoka. Huh? Hey, looks good. Thanks. No, thank you. Let's just hope this doesn't happen again. Oh, it will. Since you're a friend, it will. <laughs> Seriously. Well, I'll see you around. Hi, poor guy. Hmm? Who's- Oh no, Mr. Kim. No, I'm so sorry. You need to learn some kung fu, my man. You gotta deal with that yourself. Go here. No, 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 none of that, none of that, none of that. Oh, I still haven't beaten that guy. Gosh, I need to do that. Fine. My bite compared to your stupid. What was it? A pole javelin? Ow! That guy had a knife. Oh, I was about to <laughs> punch Ryan. Ryan, you didn't even help. You were just watching. I think I'm gonna try... Oh, what? What the hell was that? That was so random. <laughs> he just sucker punched me. Now you helped me, Ryan. Thank you. I think uh, I'll stop here and in the next episode I'll try my hand at that guy again. I gotta figure out how to beat him. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, if you did, please give it a like, comment below your thoughts, share the video, and subscribe to this channel for more episodes and to Judgment. Until the next one, you take a lot of care. Jenny!